Exactly. So well, Jeremy, we'll start uh, with you in terms of the conflicting information on the attack as, uh, of course, there is efforts moving forward to create safe zones for civilians. What's the latest that you're hearing? Yeah, well, first of all, with respect to the intelligence picture on that hospital bombing, I thought the United States did a terrific job uh, coming out there very quickly and saying, uh, based on three sources of information, overhead imagery, uh, communications intercepts, and open source data, which is uh, analyzed through powerful algorithms in U.S. technology systems, based on those three pieces of information, we assess mm -hmm. that this rocket came from Islamic Jihad. And I actually think the U.S. was pretty forceful in its, in its pushback there. I take Joe's point, and I've been talking about it as well. It was reckless. It was irresponsible to let the lie get halfway around the world before the truth got its boots on. But this is an information operations war, and it's, it's part of the battle space now where you have to contend with lies, misinformation, and disinformation. And unfortunately, too many journalists automatically credited the Gaza Health Ministry, which is, of course, run by Hamas. So this was, a, uh, I think, uh, an important kind of uh, al alarm that should go off in everybody's mind that when Hamas makes a claim, you have to take it with mm -hmm. a pound of salt. And you have to really validate it because, unfortunately, as you know, there were real consequences. You know, crowds gathered outside embassies. People could have gotten hurt. People could have gotten killed. And the Arabs missed an ent entire opportunity to sit down with the president of the United States over what turned out to be misinformation and a lie. Yeah, and certainly will die.